Hello. This is Dr. Marie Gemo. I am coming to you today with a fantastic lady. She is a great business owner. I've known her for quite some time. It's Dr. Candice Godwin. She is going to talk to us today about um, culture. She is mastering herself on culture. She's working with companies. And as business owner, we know that culture means the world in the business. You need to make sure that your company, your organization has a good culture so that you can grow within and outside your business. So today she is the expert. She is going to talk to us and she's going to give us some layers, some tips on how we can grow the business when it comes to the culture. So Dr. Candice, welcome to the platform. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation today. So we are on Joda Press Live Talk. We do receive business owners and we want to know what is happening in their world and how we can uh, share the information about your company, about your business, so that the customers that are out there, the prospects that are out there, if they need culture, they can reach out to you. Would you go ahead and share a little bit about you, about your company, so that we know who we're talking to? Sure. Um, thank you, Dr. Marie. I'm Candace Goodwin, and I am a culture strategist. I work with organizations, uh, large and small, in developing organizational cultures where people can do their best work. Um, as Dr. Marie mentioned, culture drives business. Um, we know culture eats strategy. So without a strong organizational culture, organizations aren't going to be able to deliver their best business results because the time it's going to take to get people engaged to do their best work um, will take too much of their uh, time and activity. So we uh, work with organizations and help their leaders develop a high uh, level of emotional intelligence and help with leader training on how to develop a strong culture. Um, so, uh, so that's what we do. Fantastic, fantastic. Wow. So what inspired you to tackle the culture? There are so much fear out there that you can build your business in. Why did you think that I need to, uh, to work just in the culture industry? Um, so a couple things. First of all, that's what I did my dissertation on, employee engagement and organizational culture. And I found it really fascinating that each business has their own culture and how different employees respond um, in terms of employee engagement based on the culture. And so, so many different aspects of what we do as leaders and how we run our business impact our employees directly. And I really found um, it important for business owners to understand how they can attract and retain really the best talent and how they can um, grow their productivity, increase their productivity. Um, and all of those things are because we treat our people well and create organizations um, where people can do their best work. And if we're creating this engaged workforce, folks are gonna give um, discretionary effort and work harder for us and the business will um, eventually prosper. And I've worked in organizations with both really horrible cultures and organizations with great cultures and um, have found really that, um, of course, the ones with the great cultures are where you want to work forever. So. Absolutely, absolutely. You know how we say that the, the business is not about the business owner. And the one who drives, the business, I always say the business owner, you have a vision, you have a vision, but you need some hands and feet to make that vision work, right? That's how we bring in workers, we bring in uh, employees, and there are companies who can drive the, uh, the, the business with employees for years and years, and there are businesses that struggle to return the employees. So. For myself, I believe that if you have really a very good 
foundation in your in your culture the the employee will feel like they it's a family thing going on right what do you say about that yeah absolutely um i i think one of the things that leaders um forget is that we're all human and we exactly. all have needs right mm-hmm. so <clears throat> excuse me you know our emotions actually drive our um responses to things and mm-hmm. so really helping folks um at that emotional level and especially now ever since covid you know folks really want that psychological safety and so helping business owners understand that it's the both end it's the head and driving the results but it's also the heart of people that matter and so um leaders that tend to both the head and the heart of their employees are going to be much more successful wow i really like that the head and the heart that is powerful because if you know how to reach somebody's heart you've gained them because there are bis- there are employees who stays with a company not because they getting these big checks but because they believe that the business owner trust them the business owner is there for them when they have some family matters he's there or she's there to support them so they kind of touch their heart in a point where even if they not receiving a big paycheck they can stay with them for a long time so i really like what you're saying there so now tell me a little bit i know that you work with a lot of uh, businesses here in the united states did you find it easier to penetrate a company and talk about the culture very easily with businesses yeah so most businesses obviously have a culture uh, or all businesses have a culture and what ends up happening is either employee engagement starts to go down um through a measurement uh usually someone will take a survey and they'll notice their employee engagement is going down they'll notice that they're losing employees really good employees and having regrettable turnover or employees will or um owners will notice that their leadership team is not really moving things ahead in the way that they would want And so when businesses notice that, uh I'll typically uh get a call and then we'll talk about what's happening in the culture uh and the different strategies that they're implementing so that we can put a stop gap in, get some training involved, um talk to folks about alignment with the mission, vision, values and the culture overall. uh so that we can start to drive some initiatives to establish or reestablish <clears throat> a strong culture <clears throat> excuse me fantastic that is well said so i hear you saying that you do go in the company and you do pour out the survey so you run the survey throughout the employees correct you run yeah. the survey to pull the information on the culture how did they feel what are the some of the type of the questions that you come up with to make sure that they get engaged in getting you the right uh, answer yeah so <clears throat> I use um a company survey um that's already established but uh, in those questions we talk about um interdepartmental cooperation how are the different um departments getting along are they communicating uh how are um leaders communicating with employees how are employees communicating with leaders um is there a belief in the values the direction of the organization um our managers caring about concerns our managers supporting learning and growth um so some of those questions um they're really about like different categories really about uh leadership competency efficiency and effectiveness connectivity connection in the organization are people feeling well informed are people aligned with the mission vision values are they aligned with their leader their direct supervisor um and so really getting a holistic picture of how the um employee feels about the organization 
Very interesting. So people who have joined us, this is Joe Dupree's Live Talk. We have Dr. Candace. She's talking about the culture. It is very important that you really look into the culture of your company because you want to build a company that is sustainable. You want to build a business that will stay even when you no longer with the business, but the business continues because you have established a, found, a foundation on the culture that will grow forever for your business. So what is the advice that you can give out there, Dr. Candice? What is the advice that you can give out there if there is a business that is listening to you, a business owner who's listening to you now? And uh, he has this question on his mind. is like, okay, uh, I've never really paid attention to sit around and understand the culture that I'm building in here. What is the advice that we can give him? So I would first say survey your employees. Um, if you've never done a survey on employee engagement before, survey your employees. You need to understand what they're um, thinking and what they're feeling in order to identify the barriers that exist um, in your organization for it to be a healthy culture. So that's the first thing. And then once you get the data, identify what are one or two, three, two, one, two or three things that you can do in the next year to help support your employees to create an environment where people can do their best work. Uh, as you do that, you will see your profitability go up um, and you will see your employee retention um, also go up. And in a time where finding really great help is very difficult, um, you won't be sorry that you took this uh, initiative. Fantastic. Yes. So we are all about helping business owners. And if business owner, you are out there and you have questions, you just don't know where to go, how to start. Dr. Candice, she's a consultant. She's working with businesses already. Please reach out to her. You can reach out to her and she can give you more tips. She can work with you. She can show you how you can make sure that your culture within your organization is sustainable and you will see how you can increase your bottom line, the profit margin and um, expand the business as well. And Dr. Candice, you have a book that you did write this year. I'm so excited to talk about your book. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your book that you wrote? Sure. Um, the name of my book is Breaking Through a Cracked Foundation. And it actually is about a family culture, right? And so uh, it's about the family that I grew up in that really was a cracked foundation, wasn't um, a great family life and talks about all the obstacles that I had to overcome in my life to get to where I am today. Talks about grit, perseverance, forgiveness, and how to move past some of those um, life things that happen to us and still um, be successful in the end. And, and, you know, we always have choices, right, about the different paths it will take. And so it's my way to encourage folks to keep fighting through any obstacles that they have in their life um, so that they can um, get through whatever tunnel of chaos that they have to get to the other side. That is amazing because life is not easy. <laughs> life is not easy. You know, there are so much things going on. Sometimes we feel like we've reached the, the, the end of our tunnel because you feel like everything is dark in there. And just like you say, you know, sometimes you feel like you have this break that is on you. There's no way out. You feel like you are just condensed in a place where there's no help coming in. So you need to crack out. You need some light that is coming out of the place where you are. And I always say with Dr. Marie, there is no quitting. That word of quitting, we're putting it aside. <laughs> you know, right. when you do something and it's not working, don't say, I'm going to quit. Just say, I'm going to change the gear. I'm going to change the strategy. So with this book with Dr. Candice, she's talking about perseverance. She's talking about how you can go through those tough moments, not just in business, 
in your personal life, in a family. And, you know, if you have your personal life together, it even gets easier to communicate outside because I believe that you can only give what you have. If you have a broken heart, you're going to give a broken heart. If you have a loving heart, you're going to give a loving heart. So if you have so much going on in you, don't say, oh, you know, my life is so crazy. I just don't even know what to do. I'm just going to give up. No, there are people out there who can help. Dr. Candice is one of those people out there who can help. You reach out to her, talk about uh, how can you navigate through your hard time. She's going to give us some information very soon on how you can reach out to her, how you can buy that book. That book can help you see the light where there is no light. It can help you come out even if your foundation is not good. It's like in my book, I say, you know, how we identify ourselves with our fathers. But if you did not have that ability to to get a father who loves you unconditionally. You had a father who abused you. You had a father who uh, did not give you that taste of life. Don't, don't give, uh, don't leave the rest of your life with that bitterness. So when I come to the book that she has, even if your foundation is not good, believe that the God who gave you life, the God who loves you, unconditionally is out there he's just waiting on you he just wants you to call upon him so with you working yourself in your life bringing people from outside to help you and calling upon God your life can change your life can Absolutely. certainly change <laughs> so what is the word that you have uh, Dr. Candice we have folks listening to you right now. What is the advice that comes right from your heart right now that you want to tell anybody who's listening to this video? Um, I would just echo what you said, it, that life can get tough. And through perseverance and faith, um, you can really get through um, most things, right? There's some <laughs> things that are very terrible that have happened to a lot of people. Um, and I don't pretend to know what those things are um, and those difficulties. And yet, for me, um, in facing some of the abuse situations that I've been in, I have found that my faith and perseverance and persistence have helped me uh, get to where I am today. So, yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that situation but i'm glad that you did not let that stop you today we're looking at the successful candace but i'm sure when you were going through those moments you did not feel what you're feeling right now so if you don't give up on yourself the life will not give up it will not give up on you so the time we feel like oh i'm so drawn down this situation we start talking negative that's when the negative comes to us. You know, with the last webinar we had, we were talking about the mind transformation. Transform yeah. your mind. Power your mind with positive things. Yeah. So when you hear videos like this, don't just, oh, it's just another video. No, reach out to us. Reach out to Ms. Can uh, Dr. Candice. She can talk to you about culture. She can talk to you about some, maybe give you some testimonies of her herself. How did she navigate those hard times? How did she get where she is today, a stable business owner? She has been in the, uh, in the business field for a long, long time. She has seen ups and downs. <laughs> and now she is just uh, being successful. Being successful, it doesn't just happen like that you wake up in the morning and you are successful it needs time for you to build your life build your business build people around you build build your community there's just so much to get in so dr candace if people want to reach out to you can you share your contacts with us sure um, you can reach out to me through my website at drcandacelgoodwin.com um, so drcandacelgoodwin.com. 
Uh, you can also reach out to me through LinkedIn. Same thing, Dr. Candace L. Goodwin. And, um, and message me and we can set up time to talk. Um, on my website, you can um, fill out a form for me to also contact you. Uh, so any of those ways will definitely work. Fantastic. And we're going to have these details in the uh, description of this video, just in case you missed it. Don't worry about it. We can find it under the description of the video. And we encourage you to reach out, to encourage you to talk to somebody out there. If you're not able to reach out to her, there are consultants out there that you can reach out. Somebody out there, don't, don't live in, in a world of yourself. It's just me, I, and myself. <laughs> and then you start burning and all of that. We want you to be part of a network. We want you to be part of businesses that are going to work with you, part of a team that can work with you so that you can grow well. All right. So we are at the end of our interview today. Dr. Candice, thank you so much for joining us today. And I believe that somebody out there did gain uh, some understanding of the culture, the importance of the culture and all those tips. So thank you so much for sharing. Is there not a last word that you have to share with our audience? Um, just to say that culture matters culture matters that is very powerful culture matters you want to be successful culture matters so thank you so much and we're going to bring her back soon to talk a little bit more again about the culture and give us that time she's going to be giving us some uh cases uh, on the expertise that she has and turn in all right, so thank you so much for taking your time to watch the video. And thank you for being part of the Joda Priest Live Talk audience. We'll talk again to you soon. Bye now.